Dear colleagues, the intentional destruction of nature is one of Russia's weapons of war against Ukraine. Russia is responsible for severe, long-term and often irreversible damage to Ukraine's natural environment. It is a war crime. In the midst of this brutal war, Ukraine has shown outstanding leadership by responding to Russia's blatant violations of international law with a commitment to strengthen accountability for serious environmental crimes. The EU and its member states must support Ukraine in this work. Ecocide is already recognized under Ukrainian law, and now it is time to find a way to incorporate ecocide as a core crime within the Rome Statute of the International Criminal Court. A better recognition of environmental crimes in armed conflicts is urgently needed, not only for the benefit of Ukraine, but for all future conflicts. Now, restoring Ukraine's natural environment from the damage caused by this war will require significant financial support and expertise, but also strong environmental legislation and processes, a rapid opening of EU accession talks, and the adoption of the EU acquis on environment would help maintain this pace of uh, the ongoing reforms. Building back better will be key for sustainable recovery of Ukraine. Both public and private financing for Ukraine must be well aligned with the country's social and environmental goals. Responsible business conduct should also be well integrated in the recovery efforts. And finally, Ukraine and its nature will recover from this terrible war. A prosperous green Ukraine on a European path will be an end to Vladimir Putin's imperialist fantasies. Thank you, Mrs. Autala. Now, Mrs. Futiga for one and a half minutes, please.